Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what I call is a badass hedge trimmer by Makita. Now, I did a lot of research. I'm trying to save you guys some time. I got some links below to all these parts or components or whatever you want to call it, the motor and the different attachments. If you're after a hedge trimmer, it's not that easy to find one that has long extensions. So you kind of have to buy a combination of things to get a long extension hedge trimmer. This video may be a little long, but it's because the hunt and the background is a little bit long. But anyway, this is the model I wound up with. I looked at it for probably a year before I bought it because I was trying to find something more cost effective. And I didn't want gas two stroke. I didn't want to mix gas. I didn't want the noise. I hate when the neighbors have their two strokes running and making a big old mess noise on uh, Saturday or Sunday. But um, I'm trying to be courteous to my neighbors. But I had to trim mangroves, which I'll show you back here. They can be a bear along the water there. They can get fairly thick and you're hanging out over the water. So I needed extension. I did buy a number of other hedge trimmers and I've had a home light, small home light, accorded electric trimmer, which worked well. It had a small, you know, a little bit of an extension, but it was just too short to reach out over the water there. So what I did is I studied this thing. I even bought another one. I forget the brand and I brought it in and it was just wasn't that powerful. And I, I think I've gone through three of these things and returned them. So just so you guys know, I did the research. I did buy other units and try them. Okay, here's the real main points. Makita is a, an excellent tool. I've owned Makitas for 20 years on and off cordless drills and things like that. And they've always done a good job in terms of ergonomics and battery life, in my opinion. Um, they're well put together. So what do you got here is the dual 18 volt batteries on the motor. And this thing was kind of annoying. Makita's a little bit annoying in terms of what you can and can't buy, especially from dealers. I called the local dealer. He was not helpful. Never got back to me on pricing of what I wanted specifically. So I bought this combination kit. And like I said, the links are below. At first, I made the mistake of buying the one that was a weed eater. And it did not have this detachable neck right here. I thought it did when I bought it, which was kind of annoying. And so it had just a continuous rod and it was the weed eater thing. So it wasn't actually a power head that could have other attachments on it. So I brought that thing in thinking I had saved money because it was a combo package. I got a couple other tools like a grinder or something with it. So it was like a good bonus. And I was just going to buy the hedger trimmer, the hedger attachment, and then I'd be good to go and the extension. And all of that combined was less money or this, roughly the same money. And 600 and change. It's expensive but I got a couple extra tools. So I thought I had beat the system there and got a couple bonuses, I did not. The damn thing was not detachable. It was not strictly a motor head that could accept attachments. It was a continuous weed eater thing and that was it. It was a weed eater and that was all it was ever gonna be. So that was frustrating. So I returned that immediately as soon as I realized my mistake and then I had to buy the motor head and I just said, screw it. I bought all the components and yeah, it added up to 600 and change. It was ugly. I got no bonus tools, but here's what I got with this purchase of this box thing. I did get a weed eater because it comes with a weed eater head. As you can see this head and that's it. It comes with this big fat bag, which I don't know if I'll ever use. What's the point really? Maybe you'll use it. And then I had to buy this longer extension pole separate, which is in the link below. And then I had to buy the hedger head. Now, what's badass about this thing is the motor is back there. So that does help you in terms of leverage with the weight being on that side of things. So the batteries and motor are over there. A lot of them have the motor up by the tr a cutting head, which causes a lot of problems in terms of hanging that weight out over those mangroves. So the other thing is some of these hedgers are wimpy. They've got a small bite and I'll show you what I mean here. Sorry about the bumpiness. You get down here. They have a small bite. They can't take much of a I don't even like getting my fingers near this thing unless it's uh, detached because this is a finger remover, but fast. So I'm going to say super, super cautious. I know I've had finger problems. So uh, I speak from experience. Anyway, you see that the width of this thing, and this can take a serious uh, branch and it cuts it and it cuts it like butter. This thing is bad ass. I'm not kidding. So I'm gonna highly recommend it. It's expensive. I'm not gonna deny that. It's basically professional grade, but I figured I'd save myself um, money after probably three or four trims of those uh, mangroves because that's what it cost me to get it done. Um, so I'm gonna be ahead of the game after three or four trims. I can trim them when I want and I can trim other bushes around the house, obviously. And I also am gonna put the chains or buy the chainsaw head later, get rid of my uh, other pole extension one that I've got, pole extension chainsaw. 
but this thing works phenomenal. It's got a big bite. Some of them have a narrower bite. You can't get a twig in there and therefore you're just banging up against the twig or the branch and you can't get it cut. So this is the bonuses of the Makita. She's powerful. I mean, it has no lack of power and it's very, it's ergonomic and no doubt the, all these things are going to be heavy when you start trying to lean out over bushes. This head is not that light. So um, it's got some meat to it, and obviously it's kind of commercial grade, so it's going to last you, I believe. But um, it's not that easy to put this whole darn thing out there over a bush with all these extension pieces put together. I don't know if you can see this right now, but you can see how long that thing will get. And that's a hell of a lot to hang out over a bush or over some bushes. But all this being said, this thing is a machine. It is worth the money, I believe, if you need to do some trimming and you can uh, beat the uh, costs over time. And if you're in the business, it's a great machine. You're going to do your, your uh, customers and, and their neighbors a, a favor by not having that two-stroke motor screaming all day long while they do this work. I wish they almost uh, got rid of uh, two-stroke motors and, and all those things. They're just so darn loud. Anyway, um, quiet, efficient, cuts like butter. It's just an awesome uh, unit. So I highly recommend it. Links are down below, like I mentioned. I hope this helps you cut to the chase. You can screw around and buy cheaper versions and you're just kind of banging your head against the wall in terms of reach, power, and bite capacity, I'll say. Um, so definitely worth uh, the money, in my opinion. I, I didn't make this decision lightly. It took me a year to pull the trigger on it uh, after screwing around with my corded one for a long time. I even stuck a tape to pull on it to make it longer and all that stuff. But anyway, um, again, awesome unit. It comes with that charger that you can charge both batteries at once. So it's a two battery charger and it does it fast. And it's amazing. I had no lack of battery either. Um, so I did my whole mangroves, which probably, I don't know, I think it's, uh, it's gotta be 75, 80 feet of mangroves or maybe more. And they're pretty thick. But anyway, just thought I'd help you with that. Good luck. I hope you find this helpful. And again, links are below if you wanna jump right into it. Thanks guys.